What's good everyone, Daniel Vadnell here for Fitness FAQs. I'm joined by Austin Dunham. What's up guys? And I'm going to be taking him through the intensification phase of Planche Pro. So we're going to go through a handful of planche strengthening exercises, as well as some core stuff to really fix that banana back that most people have a problem with, as well as some weak link training to really strengthen up the muscles around the scapula. Let's go. We're going to kick off this intensification planche pro workout with the l sit to planche exercise. So we want to start with the hardest exercise to begin with. So for this one, we're going to be going from an l sit to a planche. Now, based on your level of strength, you'll choose a progression that will challenge you for the set and rep range. Today we're going to be working three sets of four. So based on Austin's level of strength, he's at a quite an advanced level, but that doesn't mean he can't follow planche pro. You're going to be working the straddle. Got it. So with this one, you want to keep your arms straight during the exercise, going from the L sit back to the straddle planche. Now the amount of momentum that you use is determined by your level of strength. So for Austin, I want to challenge him to not really use too much momentum. What I mean by that is he's not going quickly. He's just going to lean forward, extend out into the straddle, momentarily pause in that position, and then repeat it for reps. Got it. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Let's give it a go. So when you're in an L sit, go from the L sit, tuck your knees and kick back. That's it. Good. It's L sit. Good. Do one more. Perfect. Take a break. What I want to add with this one is when Austin was doing it, he was hitting that planche position, but I just make one minor tweak in his case. You probably haven't done this one too much in your own training, so it's a bit unfamiliar for him to do. He's got more than enough strength to do it, but I just make one small change. It's a really common thing, and I'd recommend when you're doing this exercise to think of leaning forward. So you're going to shoot back into the straddle. You really think about leaning forward in the exercise so that your hips are level with your shoulders. When you were doing it, if I'm just being a perfectionist, it was a little bit high. That's the only thing. So my hips were a bit high? A little bit high. Got it, so got focus it. on the forward lean. Give us two reps and let's see what that looks like. Better. That's really good. Yes. Go one more. Beautiful. Awesome. So you'll clearly be able to see the difference from the first set to the second set. And that in and of itself is a huge tip for your planche training. Now, with planche training, we want to prevent any banana back and really have control over our midline because from here, force is generated through our entire body, which will mean a stronger planche position. This exercise is called the bird dog and it's modification specifically for planche training, especially for Austin. He's working on his straddle planche in this video. So we're gonna get him to do the straddle bird dog. This one you want to set up in a four point kneeling position. So here, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. So you can take your knees out shoulder width apart. So here. Now from here, Austin is going to keep posterior pelvic tilt flat back and he's going to extend his right leg into a straddle. One, good. Now swap sides to this one. Good, do the other side again. And do one more over here. Now come in, I want to show one thing while Austin stays in this spot. What I don't want to see happen in this exercise is the hips rotating over like this. So show me an incorrect rep where you're just going really fast. Yeah, so see that, now do this one here. This is exactly what we're trying to avoid. So when Austin does it here, locks in, goes nice and slow trying to minimize that. Perfect. And one more on this side. Noticing a bit of a difference on Austin's left side here. So in which case he'd have to do this nice and slowly, really spend a lot of time on this exercise. But this one is super helpful for straddle planche mobility specifically. Our goal is to get a strong planche. We need to practice the position itself. So at this point in the workout, after we've already done a real strength intensive movement, 
we're going to pick a progression you can do for about 10 to 12 seconds. So for this video, just to explain the points, we're going to have Austin do an advanced tuck planche. Universal planche cues that we're looking for with this one. Arms are straight. You're going to be protracted and depressed at the shoulder blades. So that looks like protraction and depression. Austin's done the planche a ton. He's mastered this movement. So he's going to be a good demonstration of what good form looks like. With this one, just focus on the forward lean, your hips level with your shoulders, and back completely flat. Gotcha. Kind of let me know if my hips are too high, too low. Sure, man. Once again. Arms are straight. It's nice and hollow through the upper back. Go a little bit low. Beautiful. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. So in Austin's case, he could hold that for longer, but in the Planche Pro program, we're all about building that strength. So it's not just about maxing out, it's about using a evidence-based, science-based approach to training. So with your 10 second isometric holds, the way it works with isometrics is you can divide the number by two to get the equivalent dynamic reps. So if you did a 10 second hold, it's equivalent to doing around five reps. So in your case, if we did that, four sets, four sets of 10 seconds is equivalent to roughly speaking, four sets of five. So really good for building that strength. Towards the end now of the planche pro workout, we're going to finish up with the pseudo planche lean. This exercise, you're going to be in a push up position and we're going to use the wall as our intensity reference. I like to use the wall because it gives you a gauge of where you are relative to space. That way you can keep leaning forward and keep yourself honest in the exercise. In terms of form for the pseudo planche lean, you're going to start in a push up position. Now with this one, as I explained in Planche Pro, distance from the wall gauges your intensity. The further you are from the wall, the harder it is. So Austin's going to start by protracting here. And next up, nice hollow body position here. Yep. Now you're going to lean forward towards the wall, lightly contacting the wall with your head. Austin's going to hold this for 15 seconds. I'm going to coach him through it. So he's staying hollow at the upper back here. He's got that engagement posterior pelvic tilt. The arms are completely straight. He's holding and maintaining, maintaining. Five, four, three, two, one, and then relax. So with this exercise, you can see how it's absolutely fantastic for the planche because we're training that same joint angle. In a planche, you need to lean forward with the end goal being the hands near your waist. That's a full planche. Yeah. So, this one can be scaled to suit all levels of strength, absolute beginner, all the way to someone who's close to the straddle planche or even the full planche. This is incorporated in Planche Pro and we discuss this much more in the training system. Now to finish off the workout, it's really important to address weaknesses that are common in the planche. For most people, it's maintaining that protraction and hollow body position. I'm going to work with Austin here to show you the scapular push-up. Now this exercise, most of you will benefit from just using your body weight because getting to end range is actually a lot harder than it looks. But for those of you that are more advanced and if you have the equipment, you can also do this with a resistance band. So let's go down to a push-up position. With this one, I want you just to be moving at the scapula. So this position here, like we are in a planche, nice and tight. Austin's gonna keep his elbows straight. Now lower into retraction. Now go all the other way, pushing up again to protraction. Beautiful, lowering into retraction and up into protraction. Do a few more. What I really like about this is that he's just moving at his scapula. There's no humpback action happening at the top. All of it is happening through his scapula. This is absolutely perfect. So there you have it. That's just a taste of a few exercises from Planche Pro. If you want to get the full program, the complete guide A to Z for Planche, go to fitnessfaqs.com. Shout out to Austin Dunham for being featured in this video. You can check out his content on YouTube, Instagram, all social media will be on the screen as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you really soon.
Peace. Peace.